You know, there's some business owners who their wives don't even know where they get the stock. Mm -hmm. There's some business owners who their children has never seen dad um, at work. They only see dad at home. They've never visited the workplaces of their parents. And this is a culture which is wrong because you see with other um, races during holidays, if the dad is a farmer, the kids go to the farm over the holiday. If the dad owns a shop in town during the holiday, the kids are getting grooming and training in the field of expertise mm. that their parents who are entrepreneurs are doing. So this is also a mindset that we need to encourage, especially in our young children, because it will be very difficult when a kid now is 18, 19, now you want to bring them to work to say this is what we do. It will be very difficult for them to understand that concept and what it is exactly you're doing. So with everything, it's good to, you know, introduce them young. It's never too late, you know, bring them in, you know, pay them something whilst they're working during the holiday, encourage them to work for their money so that, you know, you're building a, a legacy of a business. You know, it reminds me, I was um, at Borodeo at a food outlet shop mm -hmm. and I was surprised one of the owners had their own child working and saving and clearing the tables. And I was surprised to say, wow, this is the son of the owner. This guy is a multi-millionaire, but his son is cleaning the table. And that's how it is, because I think Vanoe Mazuano are very spoiled. They have everything. They have the latest phones. Mm -hmm. They don't have to work for much. But then if you understand, Kuti, for a business to succeed, you have to start from the bottom. It's a mindset. Right? And now that son who was uh, working as a waiter, understanding people shouting, hey, you should have done this, that, because they don't know who he is. Mm. He's getting grooming and training on understanding business at a shop floor level. Then now when he goes behind the desk as the FD or the chief advisor, he understands how things start at the bottom and the challenges the shop floor workers have. That way you can understand that even if the father goes today, he will understand how to run the organization and the business. And this is the key thing that I think as businesses we're lacking because we're not involving, you know, our, our, families. our families. And that's why businesses are not going to the next generation.